Hey, it's recording. Cool. So now I wanted to talk about should we try and change other people, which is an interesting topic, isn't it? My last video I created today was should we try and change the world or should we just accept and allow it the way it is? Now, after eating a whole lot of mangoes, I'd like to say in that video I said we're always changing the world no matter what, whether or not we try it and we can do it with peaceful good feelings or an acceptance and non-attachment and non-resistance and non-judgment if we can and we'll feel good about it and we'll be much more effective and clear and happy about it much more effective in changing the world or we, we can not we can do it in a way where we're contributing to a negative vibration in the planet where we're dealing with resistance, attachment, addictive neediness for our results to happen, judgment and criticism and blame. But in our relationships with people now, this is my most favourite subject. And I have to say, I have fantastic relationships with everybody. I have no, I only have peace in my heart towards all the people from my past who may have caused me pain or contributed to me suffering and feeling bad, sad, lonely or upset or angry. Anyone who's like being mean to me, I forgive them now, it's fine. <clears throat> but I like to say my perspective is I am a very powerful being, very conscious creator of my life. I don't react as much as I can out of conditioning or or unhealed hurts and pain that's still residing inside of me. I don't react to a situation or a person unconsciously with drama and attack and defend and counterattack with judgment, attachment and resistance, inner resistance. I respond with awareness, with love in my heart, if I can, as best I can, as much as I can, without any striving or stressing or struggling about this. I just do my best. And what I found is my relationships are wonderful. There's no commotion or drama happening in my life with anybody. And the people know the boundaries with me. Nobody actually even treats me badly anymore. Everyone's, I actually attract very nice, kind, happy, laughing, friendly, good vibrations, situations and people into my life. People were, um, in this video I'm talking about. I'm always laughing and mingling and interacting with people. And it's great fun. It's like I'm always having just the best time with people like strangers and and friends too. But in the past I've had to deal with people which is fine who are being mean or manipulative or controlling, demanding, belittling, disrespectful, inconsiderate, bullying, domineering, etc. And some of those qualities were in me too in the past and they probably are still just some of them to a small extent, you know, an unconscious level and it's very it's not at a conscious level and I think I'm always really mean to everyone or <laughs> really kind, like not mean to anybody. Uh, I just try and have love as my motivation for the helping the vibration of the other person and the other people, for their awareness, their expansion, their happiness, their enjoyment of life and, and me. Have fun and sharing together to learn and to grow, to deepen, to be able to express more and to be truer, to shed the fear little by little. And all of this is done without any striving or stressing or struggling. It's not like you're falling into the spiritual trap of waiting for things to get better or trying to get there, trying hard to get there, struggling, straining, stressing. It's not that. It's a gentle going with the flow, inner acceptance, doing my best. But I'm always creating along what is my preference. What is my preference in life? So this is the way I've learned and the way I believe. The way I, I totally, I could say I almost like, I know it's fine. It's fine to want things, it's fine to desire things and not be attached to them. Not trying to be struggling to get them and need them to be okay and to feel good. So there's no addictiveness there, but you have a preference. If you get preference number one, that's brilliant, and you'll try and create that and try and get that harmoniously. 
But if you don't get it, you got preference number two. Deadly, eh? And if you don't get that, you got preference number three. So it's all good. It's just preferences. This is the word I like. To, it's a very effective word in spirituality. Desire is a preference. Like desire preference number one, then number two, three, four, five, six. But you're not going to get in turmoil and all upset and sad and stressed about it if you don't get your preferences. It's fine. It's called non-attachment, not being emotionally dependent. So, getting back to about changing people, we're always changing the planet with every every step we take and every step we don't take, with equally creating an influence and an effect in the world. Every breath we take, we're creating a cause and effect. So you can't get out of changing people or changing the world. Actually, every relationship you have with, it, be it a family member, a partner, a friend, a colleague, a student, if you're in school, like your mum, your dad, a brother, or sister, or son or daughter, whoever it is, you're constantly creating it. You're constantly recreating it with every thought you have about it, every feeling you have about it, and every word you speak, the way you speak it, how you speak. You know, where are you coming from inside here? And what you do and what you don't do. So, relationships are dynamic, constantly changing, ever flowing, beautiful movements all together, you know? You're co creating them all the time. You're, you're restructurizing them, reshaping them, and recreating them all the time. So, the question is you can't get out of changing other people and change. How how do you are changing your relationship? It's constantly changing, ever new, ever fresh, all the time. The question is, how do you want to change and create your relationship? For me, I know what it is. I want all those things I mentioned earlier. I want us to have a flowering, blossoming, blooming, joyous, abundantly beautiful relationship together, where we completely understand each other emotionally and also what we think and what we want and what we don't want in the relationship. And all this is just done from clear, open, honest plain communication. I'd like to say watch these things in yourself and very much so protect yourself against these things I'm going to mention in other people and that's when people are trying to change you. When I, like some people can be trying to demand, you know, put emotional pressure on you and they're trying to change you that way. But that trying is not so much a, a try. A, it's a trying born out of like fear and addictive needing you and trying to force you, striving and stressing and struggling. It's not often born, other people trying to change you aren't, isn't often born of like good intentions and motives out of love and care, out of kindness, tenderness and gentleness from the heart. So just be careful of people out there who are being mean and have not the kindest motives and are trying to like bully you or domineer you and manipulate you put emotional pressures on you, blackmail you, and try and just control you and manipulate you. You know, you got to stand up for yourself, uh, be a spiritual warrior, a peaceful warrior, become more aware, and just do the best you can. Uh, and tell, tell these people that you don't want them to do this anymore to you, you prefer that they didn't, and you want... Just stand up and take control of the situation as best you can in as nice a way as you can as possible and teach these unaware suffering people, possibly, probably suffering, that it's not okay to be mean to you anymore, talk to you this way and that you would love them to, to listen to you properly and not to keep interrupting you, etc. And to try and understand you and, and listen to you more and respect you and have more consideration and uh, care for you and that you'll try and do the same for them and you'd... And, uh, that you want to like listen to each other properly so you can both create a lovely good relationship together okay so that you're not going to be a walkover but neither do you want to be a walkover towards them so you can both help each other and work together in this okay so so that's good eh So regarding changing people, I like to change people if I can, but it's complete harmony in my in my inner being. Like there's no problem or troubles there. It's just my little preference to change them to be happier in life, to have more abundance, more awareness, more beautiful relationships with themselves, with me, and with everyone else. 
and I like to equip them with awareness so that they can have like much better relationships with everyone in the future. Less problems, less stress, less unhappiness and sadness and grief and depression. And more beauty, more joy, more expressiveness, more expansion of the heart, expansion of the mind. I want to change them to have all these beautiful things. I want to share my joy in the things that I feel. I want to present these and share these with other people. But never do I want to do, force it on anybody. And never do I want to stress about trying to get somebody to be the way I prefer them to be. See, I got preference number two, and that's for them just to be not interested, I suppose. And that's okay with me too. But there's no harm in wishing to share. So I do it. When, the, when I feel it's a good time or a good place or a good moment, and I'm happy about it and they're happy about it and we're all like fine about it. So that's if they're in a good mood. Because sometimes, obviously, if people are trying to be mean or hurtful towards us. We want to change them so they're not hurtful or mean and harmful and destructive towards us anymore or a loved one or another person. So in that instance, you want to change somebody because you prefer them to be kind and kind and make you feel good instead of really helping a lot to make you feel really bad, possibly. So what do you think about that? I hope, hope it makes sense. Hope to own here is presenting himself well. <laughs> So oh, yeah, changing people, folks, it's fine, but just don't force it, and don't be emotionally dependent on it. Work towards your preferences, one by one. Be flexible to what you prefer, because otherwise, you've preferred if you really want this, and if your happiness and inner well-being, emotional well-being, depend on it, it's like a drug. It's an addiction. And when you get it, you get your addictive fix, for a while at least, and maybe you fear losing it, and then you crave to get it again, and if you don't get it, you're going to be distraught and suffer. A lot of relationships are like this, you may have noticed. They're ego-based relationships, not, not true love. It's like infatuation, love. So I'll leave it at that. Thanks for joining me and listening this far. I hope you have a nice day and benefit from what I've just shared here. Keep listening. Feel welcome to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. It's all like empowering spiritual sort of stuff, mostly. Nearly all. <coughs> With some health things thrown in. <coughs> So look after yourself and uh, I hope you create the life and the relationships that you truly want, whatever that may be. And, and blessings and good luck to you doing, doing that, okay? Peace and lots of love to you. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.